In this video, I'll show you five settings that you need to know if you're going to be using TradingView for day trading or investing. And as usual, I'll link all the best tools in the description. So if you're looking for a broker, scanner, charts, or newsfeed, don't forget to check that out and let's get right in. So when you have TradingView open, the first thing you want to do is create a new layout. To do this, just click this plus button on top and just create a new chart. The next thing you're going to be doing is go to settings. So you're going to just click on your chart. You're going to right click settings and then you're going to make sure that these are selected. This is going to be pretty important if you're trying to link different kind of chart. We can see that if I go to a layout of four, this is selected in orange. I'm going to do the same thing on this chart because they're saved in a different manner. And you can see that this is the same color. So if ever I decided to put it on the little heart over here and I change the ticker to maybe AMC or CGC or any ticker, you can see that these two are going to change. And this one, if I change this one, this one is going to change also. So this is pretty Pretty important if you're going to be using multiple chart in the same layout but when this is done and you also chose the one you want to sync together what you want to do is go over here and say settings and then you can remove the logo the title open high low close and bar change and create apply to all so now you can see you're gonna have more space on your chart so the next thing we're gonna do is play with the indicator so when you have an indicator or if you want to add one you can just go over here type the indicator that you want. It's going to go on your chart. Then you can right click it and then you can customize it. Something that I always think is important is when you have specific indicator, you can make sure that they only apply to certain time frame. So if I want to see VWAP, I don't want to see it on a chart over five minutes. The way to do this is just by creating this over here. So you can just select the time you want and then just press OK. So then if I look at the same chart and I put something like a 15 minute, you're going to realize that the VWAP is also not there. This is important when you're looking at something like a daily chart and you want to see sometime more indicator or more moving average for most cases, but you don't want to see them on intraday. That's how you do it. And I really enjoy this. So the way you would do this is just by indicator and then you add the one you want. And after you right click on it, and select the specific time frame that you want to see it on. By the way, at any point during this video, don't forget to check out the link in the description. I did link all the best tools for day trading that includes brokers, scanner, charts, and newsfeed. So let's get back to the video. So the next thing we're going to be doing is go over here and make sure that the volume is in a new pan. When you're getting it, most of the time, the volume is going to be actually mixed up. Right now, it's probably done because I did it on all my chart. But the way to do this, just go over here, right click on any volume bar or your indicator and you're going to do move to existing pan below in your case when you get it it's going to be like this so your volume is going to be with your chart what you're going to do is right click on it and move to new pan below and now your volume is going to be in a new pan and it's just going to be better when you're looking at chart so much cleaner and it's really help when you have multiple charts like this to make sure that everything is separated properly so going back to this chart the next thing you want to do is go to settings and then you're going to go to scale a few things that are important is going to be to always make this invisible. So otherwise, it's always going to be there like this. You're going to see the USD. But if you're trading stock in a certain currency, you probably already know. So you want to make sure that this is removed. So always invisible scale mode, always invis invisible. Otherwise, it's pretty annoying. It's going to have like always these things over there. So always invisible and it's going to help you with that. And when you're done doing this, go to Canva go at the bottom and make sure that you have a proper margin set up. So if you decided that you want it more, it's going to do it like this. So then you leave yourself some space just below this. Otherwise, when you're trading and the price is moving, you're going to end up with something like this and you don't really know if it's the higher price or stuff. So go back to setting and then Canva and make sure you have a good margin. I like to have a 10 on top and bottom. And also I like to have about a three like this over here. So then it's pretty clean. It's good. So when you have a chart and everything is done, something else that you want to do is just open this over here, go to like a four or something like that. Click on the chart you really like and that you have set up already and say apply this indicator to all chart. And also what you want to do is go over here and say apply all. So now all your settings are going to be the same for all your chart, regardless of what you started with. So it's, it really helps instead of customizing every single chart or saving some charts layout, you just pick one and you go to setting and you just go apply all. So all your settings are going to be there. And same thing for your indicator. You can do apply these indicator to entire layout. 
So the next thing we're going to do is go on this sidebar over here. If it's not open, just go above your little thing over there and just open it. After when it's done, just go over here and say new drawing will sync globally. This is important. And the reason what you want to have this is if you go here and put an horizontal line, then you go over here and you look at spy, your bar is going to be there. If you add one over here, over here, over here, and then you go to this one, it's going to be there also. So that means if you have one chart on multiple layout, you're always going to see the line that you add. And also in the case you don't want this, this is where you would remove it and you would just put nothing or new drawing will sync in this layout. So a layout is going to be one square like this. So if you have many of them all over the place and you don't want your drawing line to sync, this is going to be over here. So the last thing you want to do is when you have a layout that you really do enjoy and you think it's pretty much perfect, you want to go over here and make a copy. Make a copy or make a few copies. So if ever you want to change something or you try something else, then you have a good layout to come back with. And when I really like a layout and I want to make sure, you know, have more of them, I just go over here and say make a copy like this. Then it's going to open over here and then you can just remove it out and then you can put it on a different window. I think that's the best way to do it. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.